Welcome to this short little tutorial today. Uh, I'll show you how to set up voice chat and open audio. It's fairly straightforward. Uh, I'm assuming that you already installed the plugin before. If not, just download the jar file from Spigot. Uh, install it on your server and then join as always. Uh, and it'll prompt you to... Oh! Well, I wasn't expecting that one. But as you'll see, it'll prompt you to accept the terms of service, which you could read up on. Now, I already know what it is, so I'll just go ahead and just... Oh wait, accept. Uh, and we'll need to make an account on... Can you don't? I'm trying to do something here. Thank you. Uh, and you'll need to make an account in Craftman. Uh, your Craftman account is basically where your add-ons, your servers, and everything will be managed. Uh, it's it's a free account you can just make with your email. Yeah, wow. Email. I butchered that one. Anyhow, you'll make your account, log in, yada, yada, yada. There you go. Um, what we want to do, then... Is link our beautiful account to our Minecraft server because if we go to service right now, it'll just say, "Oh, you don't have anything linked to your account," which is correct. It's an empty account. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the fingerprints tab, which is this little button right here, and we'll create a new fingerprint. Uh, this basically is an authentication token that we could use once. So we'll copy the fingerprint, like so, and enter it in game through slash OA link and we'll then paste our token in that we just copied. When we do that, it'll say, hey, good job, your installation is linked. So if you go back in the web interface to the server tab, there we go, Muddy Bones. Oh, that's a wonderful name. Uh, we could just rename a server or whatever. We'll just uh, call this YouTube demo. Uh, you could customize it. In this case, uh, let's change a different color. Let's do something like red. Right, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's but ugly. Uh, anyway, save changes. Uh, and we can then go ahead to the add-ons tab and claim our add-on. There's a few things to note here. Uh, there's a limited well, stock of free voice chat licenses per day. So you might need to wait a bit. Uh, if that's the case, you could join a Discord where we'll have automatic notifications when new slots become available. But in this case, we could just go ahead. So we click, click here to claim your activation. And it'll take us to a setup where we need to choose the server when we want to install the add-on. In this case, we only have one. That's the YouTube demo we just made. So we'll install it right there. And there we go. As it tells us to do, we need to restart the server now. Or well, reload. I'll just restart it fully. So restart. All right. Only thing left to do is join the server when it's back up. And as you'll see, we'll have a small message in chat asking us to open the web clients. Uh, you can configure the messages in the config, you know, just like always. Or if you happen to lose it, uh, you could use slash audio or slash voice or slash whatever to get a new one. Uh, we'll just click the link and open it in the browser uh, and we'll get our web clients. Which in this case is Dread because, oh, it's not too bad actually. Yeah, that looks alright. Uh, we can open the clients by clicking here and we'll get our small box asking us to enable voice chat because we, we unlocked the add-on before. Uh, all we have to do now is just press enable and we're good to go. Uh, we can configure our voice uh, sensitivity, we can select a microphone or whatever. Um, but that's it. If we want to mute, mute it from in-game, we could through slash mm or slash mute mic or mic mute or whatever. They both work. Um, and that's all we have to do. Um, yeah. Well, Nothing more to add to it, really. Enjoy, I guess. I don't know how to end a YouTube video. I'm not a YouTuber. If you could have noticed. Alright, well. Bye.